Now, these numbers are having a this x in the center of the rectangle as reference. For example, if I put 0 for the x-axis and 0 for y-axis and then hit apply, my rectangle has been moved to the 0 position. Now this little lock here is to change the size proportionally. For example, now I'm going to put 200 here. And you notice that automatically this number has changed. And if I keep and select the fill option from here. Okay, now in this window, you put 300 and you check this box. Click on OK. We got it. I'm going to make it bigger so you can see that it looks solid. But in reality, it's composed of a lot of small lines, as you can see. Okay, so now we're going to be importing a pre-made vector file to our work area. Now we're going to make reappear whatever was screen and red. Okay, that is a nice trick because that helps you a lot. For example, this one has 200 millimeters per second for speed and for the power you're using from three I mean from three to eight percent of the power that's for engraving that's plenty for for engraving this is the picture that um, we're going to be working with as you saw it automatically comes in a gray scale where, where you say gray level just click here select number two then hit apply and basically you're done because that's all that you have to do in order to have the, this picture ready for a laser. It looks so much beautiful, a lot of details but it's going to take of course more time. You know if you're engraving on glass, acrylic, mirrors or something you want to invert the image and then hit apply. Mm -hmm. And I can change the settings for each layer depending on my needs.